now uh, discussing the effect of noise uh, in the fm signal by bringing frequency modulating frequency into picture let us see what exactly uh, do we get uh, if if you remember in case of uh, amplitude modulation when we defined uh, modulation index m or mu a it is vm by vc and it is completely independent of modulating frequency but in case of fm modulate modulating uh, modulation index is nothing but uh, delta f upon fm so modulation index in case of fm uh, is related to modulating frequency as modulating frequency increases modulation index in fm will decrease in simple words the strength of uh, or, or the depth of modulation will reduce uh, this means that uh, if i want to show the effect of noise with respect to frequency in case of AM, then in case of AM, irrespective of the frequency, uh, the effect of noise will be constant because amplitude modulation takes place at equal depth uh, at all the modulating frequencies. So this re red rectangle represents noise voltage uh, with respect to frequency in AM. And because it's a rectangular in nature, it's flat. That means the noise remains constant in AM irrespective of modulating frequency but when we uh, see the effect of noise voltage on um, fm signal with respect to modulating frequency you can see that as fm increases the modulation index will decrease that means the depth of modulation uh, will reduce in frequency modulation and hence uh, when we talk about snr which is nothing but signal to noise ratio uh, because the uh, strength of signal will reduce uh, at increased value of uh, modulating frequency the corresponding effect of noise will automatically increase in simple words snr will decrease as modulating frequency increases so when i when i show the noise voltage with respect to frequency it simply means that uh, the noise voltage increases uh, as the frequency uh, increases on both the sides of uh, carrier frequency FC. That, that simply corresponds to increasing FM. So as FM increases uh, and as we go towards FC minus FM, FC plus FM, you can see the noise uh, voltage will uh, increase. And because we get this triangular nature of noise voltage versus frequency, we call it a noise triangle. So effect of noise is maximum at maximum modulating frequencies, uh, which which are the extreme of uh, the sidebands. Uh, further, if I operate FM at lower modulation index, then the uh, effect of noise uh, will further increase. So let's say, for example, uh, if I want to reduce the noise voltage, uh, then I'll have to operate FM at higher modulating modulation index. So if, if I increase the value of mu f, let's say, then the noise triangle will reduce in its height. That means uh, the noise voltage will also reduce. So this green uh, triangle is uh, the noise triangle at increased value of modulation index whereas the black one is at a smaller value of modulation index so the modulation index if it is low the effect of noise will be more so that's the noise uh, voltage and it uh, that's the noise triangle and it gives us the important conclusion that the effect of noise will be uh, high on uh, higher modulating frequencies in case of fm it will be less on lower modulating frequencies and exactly for the same reason uh, we carry out a process of uh, pre-emphasis and uh, de-emphasis in case of fm communication system